any food processing, the key aspect is delivering quality products to the consumers. That means that you are delivering products to the consumers that are free of contaminants. One of the most common sources of microorganisms in our foods is actually the food handlers themselves. They can introduce these microorganisms from their hands. And that's why we recommend that when food handlers are handling food, they either have to clean their hands or they need to wear gloves. Sometimes the contamination can arise from illnesses that, we are, that the processors are suffering from. If you are diarrhea you can introduce the microorganisms that are causing the diarrhea. If, for example, you have a very bad flu, that, those microorganisms that are causing that flu can actually be transmitted into the food. That's why it's very important that when you fall sick, you report to your supervisors so that you're excluded from the production floor. Because if you do not do that, the next thing that happens is that the microorganisms that you are carrying in your illness could be transferred into the products. When transferred into these products, they will cause illnesses in the consumers. These consumers could end up shunning your products forever. If this issue escalates and many consumers are affected, your organization can end up sh being shut down until you address the problem. Sometimes when you're working, you might feel the urge to sneeze and you may not be able to avoid it. So in such a case, there are some practices, some good practices that you can practice that can help you from transmitting the same to the products. For example, if a sneeze comes, you can actually use your elbow. Instead of using your hands or using your handkerchief, you can sneeze into your elbow as I'm demonstrating. Sometimes you may feel the urge to blow your nose during the processing. It is advisable that you do not use your handkerchief because your handkerchief could also be very highly contaminated. And every time you use it, you return it to your pocket. It's advisable to use a paper, a disposable paper towel like what I have here. You blow with it and dispose into the dustbin. Ideally, you should then wash your hands after disposing it into the dustbin and continue with the process.